Today we're gonna solve a problem you didn't know you had. Until now! Just because we can't do the magic of programming. This is a problem. My XRP crypto wallet has this weird ugly looking public address. Ew! I mean sure, that's what makes crypto wallet safe and secure, but I want the cool public address. Imagine, you're supposed to receive some XRP from a business partner. You hand them your wallet address and to their astonishing eyes, unlike what they're used to seeing, your address is different. It contains silly words like diamond hand or hordle gang. You would be the most respected man of the kingdom. Facts. Today I'm gonna show you how I built this vanity crypto wallet generator using the Rust programming language. You might be surprised just how simple this application is. And it's really cool because we can create crypto wallets containing specific words that we want. It just requires some time and patience. So how does one make a crypto wallet? How does it work? Well, you cannot simply choose a public and private key. A valid wallet must be cryptographically secure. We usually start by randomizing a seed value. This value is transformed into a private key using a cryptographic function. And to get the public key, we transform the private key. Let's not get too technical here. In simple terms, you tap a button and a secure wallet is randomly created. Now we want to choose our public address. But we cannot work backwards from the address name to find a matching private key. This is a one-way function. Our only option is to mass generate wallets and hope we find an address with a cool name. That may sound impossible, but let's start simple. What, what if we made 10 wallets? Now what's the chance of just one of these addresses containing the letter A? Well, the probability is almost 100%. Public addresses are 34 characters long and there are 58 possible characters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So forth, the chance of hitting an A is incredibly high. This is not impressive, but what if we want to find the letters high? Well, now we are down to a probability of 9.35%, according to ChatGPT. As you can see, if we generate wallets enough times, the chances are we will eventually find what we're looking for. But notice that the more specific letters or sequences of characters we're looking for, the probability of getting that exact sequence decreases quite a lot. But here's the thing, generating a wallet is incredibly fast. It's just a math problem. The application we're gonna build today can on my potato computer generate about 12,000 addresses per second. It's not the fastest in the world, but I've been able to find some really cool wallet names. So prepare your awesome wallet name list as we get to coding. I'm going to add a Rust crate called XRPL Rust. This library has functions for generating XRP wallets. So let's go ahead and create a wallet and print it out. Wow, that was easy. Let's not only do it once, let's do it infinitely. Oh! Look at that! Uh, that's it, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching, subscribe, and like. Uh. Alright, maybe we should filter out the quote unquote ugly looking addresses. Let's add a file called names.txt. Every new line, there will be a word we want in our address. I'm gonna utilize a convenient Rust function called readToString. And using the lines function, I will separate the original string we get into a vector of strings because I want to be able to iterate each word separately. Now, I don't care if a letter is upper or lowercase because it makes it more likely that we will find an address. And that is why I convert all the words to be lowercase in this slightly funky looking one-liner. We can access the public key of the wallet through the classic address member and I will also convert that to lowercase. Now it's as simple as iterating all the words we want to find and if the generated wallet contains the word we print out the wallet. For testing purposes I will include some short sequences and there we go. All of these addresses contains the word no, which we specified in our file. To clean up this output, I will also print the word that we found. And as you can see, now it's a bit easier to find the wallet we want. Technically, that's all you need for a vanity wallet generator. It's surprisingly simple, yet we're going to spice it up with some multi-threading to make it faster. We're gonna clean out the output and actually save these into files. But first, let's improve our filtering. Now notice that the placing of our word can be anywhere in the address. And I'm not a big fan of that. I want the word to be in the beginning or in the end of the address. That looks a lot cleaner, I think. So let's filter that out. I will now instead use the find function. This does the same thing as the contains function, except we will get an index of where this word starts. If the index is zero, that means the word is in the beginning. We're also going to check if the word is at the end of the address. Now we'll only print the wallet if it's at the start or at the end. Here's a post-production mistake. XRP wallets always starts with the letter R. That is why it should be equal to 1 instead. If I run this, it looks like the program isn't doing anything. So I'm going to add a counter that prints out occasionally. So it looks like the program is doing anything. This is all great, but let's say you have a really hard word to find and you're gonna run this application for a few hours. Well, coming back to a console log you have to scroll through isn't that convenient. Why don't we instead make files of the wallets that we find? I'm gonna save the files in a folder called output 
And to make sure we don't overwrite the same file if we find the same word, the file will also have the count for how many wallets we have generated. For the content of the file, at the top I will put the public address and the rest of the wallet information down below, just for readability sake. And look at that, we have some files, and if we take a look inside we can find a small mistake I made. Apparently when we format a wallet without the question mark, the private key is censored. And we need the private key to actually access the wallet. If we take a look into the XRPL Rust source code, the wallet implemented the display trait, and as you can see it does not print the private key. That can easily be fixed if we format using the question mark which uses the debug trait instead. And now all the members of the wallet struct will be formatted into the file. Let's make it multi-threaded. I'm first going to move this wallet searching loop into its own function called find wallets. I'm going to make a vector that will hold the handles to all the threads that will search for wallets. I'm just going to make four threads. And here we need to clone the word list because we can't share data between threads. To ensure the app doesn't immediately exit, we will try to join the handles of the threads. And technically that will never happen because these threads run indefinitely. Now when we run this we will find the wallets a lot faster and we can be sure that it works because it prints out the wallet searching four times, one time for each thread. I did some work off camera to make the command line output look a lot prettier. I showed the threads and how it's doing. To make it look like this I found a library called Indie Cat. If in the cat and following their example code, I managed to put this together. Look how pretty. First, we create a multi threaded thing, and to have the thread spinner rotate visually, you need to set up this style. To make the spinner actually rotate, we need to increment the spinner, and when we find a wallet, we update the text. It's very simple. You can check out the source code of this repository, link in the description, but use the software with caution. When you're dealing with crypto wallets, safety is a big concern. You should always check the source code for things like this before you run it. Now look at that beauty. My crypto wallet is finally cool. 